G'day guys and welcome back to another episode of the Aussie Investing Machine. Thank you so much for joining me. On this channel, we talk all things stocks and investing and bring you the latest market news. On this episode, I wanted to take a look at Chinese electric car maker, NIO. NIO is a car company that manufactures autonomous driving electric vehicles. The company also focuses on providing cutting edge charging solutions. Now, before we jump in, please note this video is for educational purposes only and is not financial advice. Before making any investment decisions, please make sure you do see a licensed financial advisor. Now, just recently on its fourth annual NEO Day, NEO revealed a new electric car. This was their all new electric sedan called the ET7, which is approximately the same size as the Tesla Model S. Now we know that a lot of investors think that NEO may be able to bring the game to Tesla and directly compete with them. However, at the moment, the company is only providing vehicles in China, but we've got a feeling this might be about to change. The ET7 has a claimed range of a thousand kilometers and is expected to go on sale in approximately one year's time. Now, as is the case with some of NEO's other cars, the ET7 can have its battery swapped over. And this makes the car very different to what Tesla offers. Essentially, if you own a NEO car and live near one of their dedicated battery stations, you can simply drive in and have your battery swapped over pretty much instantly so you can have full charge straight away without having to wait for any charging. This is one of the company's strongest competitive advantages and what really sets it apart from Tesla. Now in China, NEO has hundreds of locations for this battery swapping technology. However, we get to see many instances implemented in Europe or the US. So obviously there are some pretty hefty capital upfront costs to get these battery swapping stations up and running. And that's something that may make it difficult for NEO to gain traction in Europe and the US markets. However, once these battery stations are implemented, it is ultra convenient for drivers. No more waiting for half an hour for your EV to get charged at a gas station equivalent. You can literally drive in, swap the battery and get on your way. So as I mentioned at the moment, NEO is only focused on the Chinese market. However, it did mention regarding the ET7 that it was looking to meet engineering standards in both China and Europe. So because of this, with the ET7, we could see NEO break into the European market, which would be a significant milestone for the company. We may learn more about these plans when NEO reveals their Q4 2020 and full year 2020 results in the second half of February this year. So it'll be really exciting to see what the company presents in the second half of Feb. Now let's just talk about the dollars for a moment and let's talk a little bit about the history of NEO and how the company's been going financially. At the beginning of 2020, NEO was in deep trouble and the company really was running out of money very fast. To avoid going under, the company did a deal with some of the government authorities in a certain province in China in order to keep the business afloat. This would mean the relocation of their headquarters to this particular province, but in exchange, they would receive approximately $1 billion of essentially bailout money. Now there was one other pretty major catch with this bailout deal. 100% of NEO's assets had to be transferred to a Chinese legal entity called Neo China. Now Neo would be left with a 75% stake in Neo China and the remaining 25% would be left to those who provided the bailout money. Now a lot of people were expecting that investors would not take very well to this considering that essentially 25% percent of the company's assets have been given up to external investors. Now, surprisingly, investors did, in fact, respond in an extremely positive way to the capital raising, despite the company losing control of about 25% of its assets. So since this point, the share price has gone up like a rocket, and this has enabled the company to do more capital raising exercises, but this time on the New York Stock Exchange. It's been using the money that it raised through capital raising in order to buy back the assets that it lost in that NEO-China deal. After its latest capital raising exercise, 
The company now owns 90% of Neo China, so it's well on the way to regaining full ownership of that entity. So what's the latest news for Neo this week? Well, that Chinese province who helped bail out Neo along with the other associated investors in that deal have actually been reinvesting the profits that they've made back into Neo. This is extremely positive news because it shows that these investors believe in the long-term success of Neo. We've also seen the company hit some record deliveries in January for its ES8 model. So overall, some really positive news flowing out of the company. As I mentioned before, we're still waiting for those full year results, which we're expecting in the second half of February. And this really will dictate what the stock will do for the rest of the year. Up to this point, the company is not profitable and it, it's certainly not trending that way. So that's what we're really looking for in this next round of results is to see some consistency and to see that progress towards profitability for the company. Now, some analysts putting an $80 price target on NEO at the moment. But it's worth mentioning that these price targets are based on a comparison to Tesla. Now this comparison has been done using the price to sales ratio um, and Tesla's current price to sales ratio is 26. Using a discount factor of 25%, analysts have arrived at that $80 figure. In my opinion, however, I think it is quite dangerous to compare Neo to Tesla in this regard. We all know Tesla was the first mover in the EV game. And this first mover advantage has caused their tremendous stock price run. To predict that a company like Neo will have the same success on the stock market and with their stock price as Tesla has, I think is a little bit dangerous and probably overly optimistic. Not only this, but Tesla has actually lived up to expectations, becoming profitable, increasing their profits quarter on quarter, and also becoming listed in the S&P 500. I think if NEO can hit all of those targets, then it may be able to achieve the same price movement Tesla has, but I think it is probably a long stretch. Now that's just my opinion, please take it with a grain of salt, but I'd love to know what you think. Have you invested in either of the two companies? Make sure to drop me a comment below and let me know what you think. One thing is for sure, the EV game is certainly beginning to heat up with all of these Tesla competitors starting to gain some real momentum. Anyway guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.